Good evening, Minister. Ms. Hawken, welcome to Berlin. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests. On my behalf, my name is Sandra Maria Grunewald, and uh, normally I present a um, daily TV show here in Germany called Hallo Deutschland. And tonight I'm really honored and happy to say Hello Africa instead. It's really <laughs> a big, big honor and overwhelming, really overwhelming for someone like me working here in Germany to see so many guests from Africa and Germany coming together here tonight. And I think that's what it's all about tonight, isn't it, um, um, Madame uh, Cypris? <laughs> it's uh, about networking, it's about building and creating new partnerships tonight. Also, das wollen wir heute Abend so this is what we want to achieve tonight. This is our aim. We want to bring Africa and Germany closer together and we want to forge new partnerships. As you can see, I'm switching languages a lot, but of course we want to have both languages featured tonight, even though the focus of um, tonight will be on the English language. Charmante Übersetzerin, die Miriam, die wird vom Deutschen ins Englische übersetzen. Also da, sofern Sie des Englischen mächtig sind. So, we'll have an interpreter here. So, um, if you need interpretation into English, please put on your headphones. Minister, we are looking forward to many new interesting ideas, to innovative startups, to networking, networking and networking. So, this is what tonight will all be about wonderful entrepreneurs from both Africa and Germany up here on stage with new ideas, with innovate, innovation. And uh, again, we are looking forward to creating some new partnerships, hopefully. So let me first of all <laughs> introduce to you your host tonight. She's already here next to me. That's wonderful. <laughs> and she's the person, you all know that, but let me mention it again. Sie ist die Person, auf die das alles so she is the initiator of this pro-Africa concept and she's also the initiator of the Startup Night for Africa. I think you deserve a great round of applause because the evening has already been very successful. Thank you. So every seat has been taken up in this hall and I think I should now really pass the floor to you. Thank you very much. Welcome the Minister for Economic Affairs and Energy. This applause is for the moderator. Nochmal very warm welcome to all of you. It's good that you made it, especially that you made it from Africa. Und alle anderen hier aus Deutschland. I would also like to welcome everyone from Germany. As the moderator has said, this event is all about bringing Africa and Germany together. We have this format, we have a series of startup nights, and this is the seventh event of this kind. We've had a healthcare event, and we also had an energy concept, and tonight has a geographical focus on Africa. So the idea is to actually bring creative solutions from Africa to Germany, and we also have major German um, corporations which will be networking with African startups. And at the same time, we also have the idea that German startups, of course, have developed some ideas that can be used in Africa, and they can pitch these ideas as well. And I'm sure there will be some good ideas amongst them as well. It seems that um, there's a great level of interest. There are. I, I was hoping that people would actually be standing in this room because I heard that there were more than 400 people registered, but maybe some of them are still doing networking. Um, every place has been taken up, that's for sure. And it's good to have you here. Africa, um, das wir entwickelt haben. Our Pro Africa concept is reflective of the fact that we see a great potential for developing startups. I personally am convinced that the well established 
classes in Africa will probably not succeed in actually um, reducing youth unemployment and actually bringing their countries forward. And for young people especially, this situation is a huge incentive to actually propel themselves and others forward by setting up their own business. So I am convinced that startups really are a solution for Africa and that's why we set up this startup night. We have Mpesa, a Kenyan startup, which has already been known across Africa and beyond. It makes it possible to do bank transfers without a bank. And this is a technology that was invented in a place that does not really have a strong banking infrastructure, so it makes good sense. And of course, wherever wireless applications are concerned, Africa is far ahead. We also have a startup from Berlin, Rea Sun, which builds modular notebooks and makes it possible to actually actually fit spare parts, which provides for a very lucrative and attractive product for the African market. And the individual components will be um, produced in Guinea. We also have the Mobisol startup, which wants to deliver drones, uh, which wants to use drones to deliver spare parts for solar installations in Tanzania and Rwanda. I'm delighted to have a startup represented here from my own constituency in Dar in Darmstadt. It's great to have you here for your pitch. Well, of course, you will hear the individual pitches, and I think it was a wise decision um, to actually recognize the opportunities in Africa, that we also recognize the fact that the African economy has been outpacing the world economy for quite some time now. We have very close economic ties, and Africa has a great deal of potential, and we should actually see this. As I said earlier, Africa is also a very young continent. Average Germans are about 50 years old, but the people in Nigeria, for instance, uh, the average person in Nigeria is about 18 years old, so you can see that there's tremendous potential there. Whenever I have visited Africa, I have seen some of this vibrant startup scene. And when I visited Cape Town, I visited Silicon Cape, and I met the lionesses of Africa female entrepreneurs network. And I met Melanie Hawkin, who actually set up this network, and she is here tonight. She has brought some female entrepreneurs from Africa. I really think it's great that you made it and you are going to speak after me and then of course you will be able to see the difference between um, a German speaker and an African speaker who's really good at selling what she does. Ladies and gentlemen, digitization opens up a great deal of new potential for cooperation between Africa and Germany and we want to harness more private investment or generate private investment for Africa. Germany has made Africa a focus under its G20 presidency. And in June this year, we also rallied behind an Africa concept by the federal government. So, and the ideas about pro-Africa have been fed into this concept. And we're now in the process of actually implementing the concept. So we want to broaden the network of foreign chambers of commerce and industry. This is really gaining traction. It will make it easier for companies to actually do business in Africa. We have also organized additional business missions for German companies. They can also participate in international trade fairs in Africa. We are working towards closer energy cooperation, particularly with Kenya and Ghana. And next year, we'll also have an expert on Africa who will be helping German companies that want to branch out to Africa. Last but not least, we also came up with the idea of setting up a 100 million euro strong fund, fund for financing for Africa. And I'm hoping that the new government, um, which, will hope, uh, hope, which will soon be taking up its work, hopefully, will pick up on this idea. And 
I am certain that Africa will be high up on the agenda of the new German government. It can't be any different because it's just such a pressing issue. And I am quite confident that what we have put together is quite promising. But now we'll hear from Melanie Hawkins, we'll hear her, we'll hear her pitch for the lionesses.